Well, that's like saying a, a Big Mac is like the styrofoam container and a bun and sauce, you know, yeah. not being specific with any of it, but you have the few basic components and yeah. you're, you're exactly right. He doesn't understand what he's doing. We will not go quietly into the night. We will not vanish without a fight. We're going to live on. J.J. Abrams is that friend of yours. We all have them that always wants to do their Arnold Schwarzenegger impression from Predator and they're not good at it. And you're like, mm -hmm. uh, and then they do it. And you're like, uh, and they're really bad at it. And that's what he is, is he's a poor cinematic mimic. He, he only, so like he thinks in images. So like when it's, when it's Star Trek, for example, he's like, well, I don't know much about Star Trek he, by his own admission. And he's like, but I know it's he about... He didn't like it. He didn't even like it. He didn't even like it, yeah. So he's <laughs> like... like don't it's, let yeah. him touch it if he doesn't even like the thing. He, he's going to come in and change it to something it's not, and that was the problem. Yeah, exactly. And he even said in that interview where he admitted that, he was like, I wasn't as smart as my other friends. I, I guess I just wasn't smart enough to appreciate it. And it's like, no, no, you weren't. But he, he looks at it in images, and he says... Ooh, Star Trek is about the guy with the pointy ears and the captain who always sleeps with the green chick, um, and they go to warp speed. So I gotta have as long as I have all those things, then I've made Star Trek. And it's like, no, that no, you, you've missed the whole boat on this, pal. Well, that's like saying a, a Big Mac is like the styrofoam container and a bun and sauce. You know, yeah. not being specific with any of it. But you have the few basic components, and yeah. you're exactly right. He doesn't understand what he's doing. No. He, he comes in, in my opinion, he seems like he's the guy who comes in and does exactly what the studio says so he can get hired all the time. He's not going to give him any lip. He's not going to say no. He's going to say, yes, boss, yes, boss. And then we end up with crap every time. Yeah, and, and his, he, he, seems, he seems to have bought into his own hype a little bit at this point in his career where – I'm the franchise rebooter. And it's like, <laughs> no, pal, you're not. Because, you know, Jeff and I have talked about this. Mecca, I'm sure you've talked about this this with people. Um, why why did he have to have TIE fighters, stormtroopers, and X-wings 30 years in the future with this movie? Because to him, TIE fighters, stormtroopers, X-wings, and Harrison Ford as a smuggler is all he can think about. It's like, that's what Star Wars is to him in his head. It's mm -hmm. It's not the actual subtext it's not the mythology itself it's these window dressing accessories and as long as he has those i mean it, it's it's mind-boggling how surface he actually plays um and so then you get these vapid films the previous highlight was brought to you by your friends at the high council and their guests if you liked what you heard here I encourage you to subscribe to all of their channels, which are linked in the description below. Also, subscribe to Pop Culture PB so that you never miss a High Council highlight.